Oh, here go. Here he goes. Oh, he's. <laughs> There's the moves. <laughs> this is. Hello, welcome back. I know you're thinking it's been a while since he's done a fitness video. Welcome back to a fitness video. <laughs> Hope you are well. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Obi Vincent and today we are doing some kettlebell work. If you've done my kettlebell workouts, you will know that this is going to be another fun one. There's going to be two workouts, so you have two options. You can do both of them at the same uh, in the same session. It's absolutely fine. All you need one kettlebell. If you have two, I will give you the options. If you have two, you can use two, just make it harder. But everyone, know, most people only have one, so we're going, to, we're going to use just one. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So now, of course, we're going to do some warm ups and then get into the workouts. Let's go. Before we get started, I'm going to give you guys, I've done this a lot, but if you're new, you might need some reminders. So if you already know how to do cleans and snatches, you can skip this part of the video. But I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to clean, because I know a lot of you say you hurt your wrist and you struggle with cleans. I'm going to give you a demo how to do this, okay? So you want a light grip not a firm grip on the handle. You don't want this. You want to be able to move. Nice, and not too loose, obviously. You don't want it to drop. Nice and loose, okay? So, hip hinge, fast elbows, okay? Hip hinge, so you're not doing this. Hinge, use this and come up. Okay, so, quick, fast elbows, rest it on your side. Make sure you use your hamstrings and your glutes. Same goes for the snatches, same thing, nice and loose, all the way up and rotate overhead. Okay, so, up. Use those hips. If you use your hips properly, your arms won't be doing a lot of the work. That momentum should get that kettlebell up and it's just a case of the kettlebell landing nice and softly. It's not slamming on my wrist. That's a lot of misconception. If you're doing that, you're not controlling that kettlebell well enough. Yes, it looks really explosive, but it's a nice soft landing. Okay, so part one will be a complex EMOM, which means you're performing every single one of these exercises within one minute, which will be a single arm, sw uh, 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 single arm swing into a snatch, into a cluster and a thruster. And then you repeat this on the other hand. Yes, you will have to complete this within one minute, ideally in about 40 seconds, so you have 20 seconds rest and you will just keep going till the time is up. It is a tough one and you have to be quick 
Remember, you can scale it down. If you don't have uh, heavier dumbbells, maybe add a few more reps, dumbbells. If you don't have heavy kettlebells, maybe add a few more reps onto it. If you have heavy kettlebells, I am using a 28 kilo kettlebell to perform this. And honestly, I could probably use a 32. You can scale up also with the weight. And if you have two kettlebells, you can perform it with both hands so you don't have to swap each arm. And then it's two minute rest, and then we'll go on to part two, with a, which is an AMRAP, which is um, a lot of fun. Okay, everyone, so if you are enjoying this workout, make sure you check out my app. It has tons of workouts like these, loads of kettlebell programming, plus more including cross -lift to conventional gym programs, to dumbbell only programs, and of course, a nutrition guide to help you with your goals, as well as some mobility programming too. It's only $1 for your first month. I will put the link on my bio for you to check it out and get involved. Okay, part two. Part two is going to be a 10 minute AMRAP of 12 Russian to half swing. I know that sounds weird, you can see it in the video. <laughs> to full cleans. Into push press. And then plank pass throughs. There will be an AMRAP, you do four of those exercises, that counts as one round. Keep going for the 10 minutes. <laughs> Trust me, this one is a lot of fun. That's a lie, it's not, it's painful, it hurts. Oh, that was tough. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the video, that's the workout. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, it is brutal. Again, remember, you can scale if you don't want to do 10 minutes on the AMRAP, nine minutes. If you want to scale down the reps, that's fine. If you want to take the reps up, that's fine. But remember with the AMRAP, you need to do as many rounds as possible. Doing more reps doesn't make any sense. You just want to do them quicker. Again, if your kettlebells are too light, do more reps. But actually, that doesn't matter. Just keep going. If you find the kettlebells are too heavy, then that's why I scale down the reps. If you have two kettlebells, go wild, go crazy. Do, do the uh, workout with two kettlebells if you want to. That's an option that's uh, more in advance and it is a lot harder with two kettlebells.
forget, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. That helps my channel. It helps more people get to see my awesome workouts. So make sure you do that. And of course, if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to go and get some food. Now I'm exhausted. Peace out. Oh, 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 o